Hej, cześć, witam was wszystkich bardzo serdecznie z tej strony 352 i moi drodzy, witam was w kolejnym odcinku z serii Zagrajmy w Risen. Moi drodzy, zanim udamy się do Pati, to jeszcze się przejdziemy tutaj w stronę latarni. Będzie tutaj standardowa osoba, którą już tutaj widać, czyli latarnik Jack. Kto by się tego mógł spodziewać? Nie mam zielonego pojęcia. Chyba nikt. Mogę wejść tędy? Mogę. Nie wiem po co, ale wlazłam inną stroną. Inaczej w ogóle. Tutaj też ktoś jest. Edgar. So, there are still new folks turning up here, eh? Well, watch yourself around the Inquisition. What do you mean? I mean, careful where you step. Or you'll be up to your eyes in shit before you know it. They're crazy types, you know. Worshipping a flame. Who are you? I'm Edgar, head of the town guard. Or at least I was. Until the Inquisition took over and pushed Esteban out. I wasn't his biggest supporter, I admit. But at least he was local. Why don't you train the recruits? Let's say that me and the Inquisition don't see eye to eye on the law. I see it as flexible. Why arrest every piddly little criminal? But the Inquisition don't turn a blind eye to anything. So they got one of my former guards, Eric, to oversee the recruits. He's a master and treats them decent, too. Although he seems a little preoccupied lately. You must be a trained fighter. I swear by the sword and the crossbow. Sword for when they're close, and crossbow if they try and run. Can you train me? Train you? Sure, it'll give me something to do. But I can't be letting you have my skills for free. Dobra, stary, nie ma... nie ma jakby sprawy. What should I know about Harbour Town? No, eh? Just watch your step. You never know who's throwing their weight about from one day to the next. And mind that Harbour Warehouse. Go near it, and people think you're stealing from there. Let's just say it makes the Inquisition twitchy. What do you mean, twitchy? Legal system here is simple but effective. Steal something, we beat the crap out of you. Hurt our citizens, kill our animals, we beat the crap out of you. And if you kill someone... You beat the crap out of me? Exactly. And then we kill you. Anything else I should know? There's still plenty of trouble you can cause folks, without us making with the beatings. Of course, people probably won't talk to you after. So how do I avoid the silent treatment? Don't cause trouble in the first place. What if trouble just happens? Then that sort of happens to be your problem. There must be a way to soothe trouble over. Hmm. Apparently the mages know a spell. A joke spell. A jest spell. Seriously? Yeah. Supposed to make a person feel like they've just been told the best joke in the world. And how does that help? And they forget whatever was troubling them. Where can I get this spell? A mage, maybe. Plenty in the monastery. Bunch of backstabbing betrayers, the lot of them. Allying with the Inquisition. Could be one knocking around town somewhere. Dobra, no tego oczywiście nie potrzebujemy. Mamy żart. Tutaj możemy zejść niżej jeszcze. Tu jest jakiś kuferek. Nie wiem, czy mogę otworzyć, czy nie. Znalazłam skórę, więc spoko. Tutaj też jakieś roślinki. Fajnie, jeszcze mi się przypomniało, że musimy dzisiaj iść do tego. Jezu, jak to się nazywa, no? Do tam kwater Inkwizycji, bo nas Carlos wzywał. Tu jest łóżko. Wygląda na to, że Jack chyba tutaj śpi. Dobra, no to zaraz z nim pogadam. Przydałoby się nauczyć kradzieży kieszonkowej, nie? Well, my lad, what can old Jack do for you? You're Jack. That I am. Jack the sailor and Jack the lighthouse keeper. Now Jack the old beachcomber. Seems the sea won't let me go. 
So you're no longer the lighthouse keeper? Was, my boy, was. The tower's not in use, nor am I. No more ships going out, you see. The storms put pay to the ships, and the town's short of fuel. No use burning things when there are no ships to see it, eh? You wouldn't have a tot of rum to ease my aches, would you? Here, have a little rum. Spend too long by the sea and it rots you. Your knees go, your back, your front, your everything. Everything falls apart. Towers, men, religions, the sea always wins. Remember that, lad. Let's trade. Dobra. Masz telekinezę. Ha. No dobra. Kufer Jacka. No to wypadałoby faktycznie nauczyć się kradzieży. Bo bez tego chyba nic nie zrobimy. Dobra, przejdźmy się jeszcze tędy, bo dlaczego by nie. W sumie to tutaj też nie byliśmy. Tutaj jest Edgar. No tak, w sumie ja tutaj jeszcze w ogóle nie byłam. Mi się wydawało, że to już jest koniec tego miasta. A to jest dopiero początek. You looking for Leonardo? I'm Garth. I work for him. Can you teach me the basics of alchemy? Sure. I've picked up a few things from Leonardo, but I don't get a salary, so a little donation would be appreciated. Say, 50 gold coins? Hmm. Nie wiem, czy jest sens to robić. Do you sell potions? I do indeed. Quality product. Quality potions. Everybody buys from Leonardo, except for those tightwads who go to bed with every little injury. Their pain is not my gain. How's business? Can't complain. Everyone wants to feel healthy, eh? You won't find many people who'll sell your potions in this town. And you can't leave the town. But I'm running out of supplies. When they're gone, they're gone. Can you teach me about alchemy? I won't waste my art on just anyone. I'm not just anyone. I only teach people who have a basic proficiency in alchemy. If that's not you, then don't waste my time. Where can I learn basic alchemy? Try asking my apprentice, Garth. What supplies do you need? Healing plants, healing roots, and healing herbs. Pretty much the ingredients you need for a healing potion. What would you pay if I got you those supplies? I can't pay gold. No, no. I need every coin. But I can trade you a potion for plants. It'd have to be a good potion. I'll make it a life energy potion, right? Make you tough and resistant. And don't try coming with any old ripped up weeds. I know what I need. How many plants do you need? Ten healing herbs, five plants, and two roots would do. I'll see what I can find. Good. And while you're here, I'm open for business, if you want to buy. No, dobra. I have the plants you want. Excellent. Pleasure doing business. Here's the potion I promised. What potions do you have? Okej, okay, ty masz przepisy na mikstury. Mikstura regeneracji. No dobrze. Na razie alchemii mnie uczyć nie będziesz. No dobra. Na razie nie jesteśmy w ogóle na tropie, jeżeli chodzi o te złote misy. Co do you want here? Nic, stary, nieważne. Weź idź w jakieś inne miejsce, bo masz problemy. Dobra, dobra. Nie jest taki głupi, nie? Ach, bo tutaj już jest ta kuźnia, tak? Ja przyszłam od tyłu. Ta. 
Dobra, to na razie możemy stąd wybywać, myślę. Chociaż tu widziałam, że jest jakiś gościu... Łasica. Kolejna osoba. No dobra, no. Walter, tutaj jest też Tilda. Masakra w ogóle w tym mieście. Jest jeszcze tyle do zrobienia. Przecież to jest jakiś żart. Okej, okay, czyli Kowal pewnie będzie musiał, będzie musieli coś mu pomóc zrobić z tymi jego ludźmi. Wychodzi na to. Dobra, no i tutaj już w sumie byłam w tym zakątku. Dobra, no to nie wiem, czy już iść do Carlosa, czy jeszcze. W sumie nas wzywał, więc można by było już iść tam zerknąć, o co chodzi. Odblokować sobie drogę w tym miejscu. Holt, you're not coming in here. Commandant Carlos has summoned me. I know. I've been expecting you. Then are you going to let me in? Wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. No dobra, strażnik, pięknie, wojownicy zakonu. O, już jest Carlos tutaj na wejściu, jest Felipe. No dobra. A, there you are. It's about time. You know me. This is a small island. We've got used to refugees, but they still stand out. Question is... Are you a spy for Don Esteban? Someone seeking to join the Order of the Flame? Or something else? So, why don't you tell me what you want in this town? I'm volunteering to join the Order. Hmm, is that so? Well, let me explain how things work here. In this town, Inquisitor Mendoza's law prevails. And I see that his law is followed. Every troublemaker and criminal who tries to break the law will be punished. Those who aid the civic cause and help to keep the peace will be rewarded. What is your role in this town? To defend it. To keep order. To protect the citizens in the order's care. That is my duty to the town. My duty to the order and humanity is to make sure the artifacts we find are shipped to the monastery. The temples that rose from beneath the ground are full of artifacts. And every petty thief on this island is trying to steal them. The Inquisitor has commanded that all artifacts are to be taken to the monastery. People think he wants them for money. But I sense he sees a link between these artifacts and the disasters that have befallen us. He is seeking a clue to our salvation. We must gather these artifacts. We must convey them safely to the monastery. We must see that the Inquisitor is able to proceed with his business. What about these outlaws you mentioned? Before the Inquisition came, Don Esteban had great influence in this town. But when we arrived here, he retreated. Now this bandit king is hiding somewhere beyond these walls. Without him, his people are disorganized. As long as their numbers remain manageable, they have no power, though they remain an irritant. If we are to stop them becoming more than that, we must remain alert. Why did the Inquisitor come to this island? Contact with the mainland is lost. We have heard nothing from our other outposts. If we were to lose the Holy Hall, lose the Holy Flame as well. But maybe, maybe the temples that rose from the earth here hold secrets that can help us understand what is happening. To that end, we gather everything we find in ruins. We must hope the ancient temples here hold secrets of the past that can help us build a future. Why are the people being held prisoner in this town? Prisoner? Have you been beyond the walls here? Seen the bandits, the creatures that roam this island? How many of the farmers and shopkeepers here could defend themselves against them? Do you know how many have died foolishly grubbing for gold and paying for it with their lives? Everyone who is safely within the walls of this town should be glad. 
We are protecting them, seeing to their needs. Only criminals are held prisoner. I see. What future do you see for Harbour Town? What future for the world, for this island? Those things are in the hands of the Inquisitor. For us, we must keep this town safe for its citizens. Keep it a haven for refugees. Keep these honest people safe from the dangers without and within. Once we have done that, we must look to feed the people, find ways to survive, until we have word from the mainland. How can I help you? I need loyal men to ensure this town stays within the law. We are working for order, for the common good. But there are criminals, outlaws, who would destabilize what we have achieved. I will help you keep the law in this town. <clears throat> then root out the outlaws. Find those on the streets of my town that do not fit with the Order's plans, who do not seek the common good. Confront them and see to it that they can do no harm. My guards will help you. If you wish to join the Order, then do your duty and I will see to it that you advance. No, dobra. Captain Romanov's gold has been secured. Excellent. I thought he would take the mystery of the gold's location to his grave. Good work. About the Don's followers. Sid was tough, but he won't be a problem for you any longer. Sid? He has long been a thorn in my side. I'll be glad to see the back of him. Here, please take this gold as a reward. About the Don's followers. Delgado was collecting protection money in the gutters. I've stopped him. The Don has long been sowing discord and disquiet there. It is well you have stopped Delgado from worsening things. No, I'm ready to stand for that little bit of gold. Mogłam sobie wejść na górę. Tego pulpitu się nie da niestety przeczytać. Aha, bo to jest... O, okej. Okay. A, nie da się go przeczytać, bo chyba Carlos go chciał czytać, ale jest to są jakiś pierścionek. Wiecie co, chyba do walki kosturem. To jest naprawdę przydatne w takim razie. Tędy moglibyśmy wyjść z miasta. Tak na dobrą sprawę. Nie wiem, po co ja tu wchodzę. Hm. Czy to był jakiś błąd? Chyba się zbagowałam. Albo nie. Co ciekawe, nikt się mną nie interesuje. O jejku. Dobra, udało się za pierwszym. Nic szczególnego tam nie było. Dobra, może. Aj, nie o to mi chodziło. Wczytamy się w takim razie. Bo troszeczkę za dużo nadtraciłam jednak tych wytrychów. Dobra. I jeszcze jeden kuferek. O, ten był otwarty tak po prostu. To nawet lepiej. What do you want? What's with that star? I'm a trainer. I teach staff fighting. Not a lot of call for that here. What do you mean? The men here have already been trained. And they have to spend their time keeping the peace. What about you? Would you like to train? I'd like to learn about staff fighting. Hey, no, w sumie to spoko by było. 
drugi poziom kostur. Mamy pierścionek, więc to by było nawet, nawet dobre. Okej, okay, no to byliśmy u Inkwizytora, znaczy się komendanta, który współpracuje z Inkwizytorem. Tutaj jest ta kuźnia. I powiem wam, że jednak bym chyba poszła do Pati w kolejnym odcinku, bo wydaje mi się, że rozmowa z nią będzie trwała naprawdę dużo czasu. A możemy się zająć innymi sprawami tutaj. Elza. Co to za byczek? If you want it, I've got it. If you're here to buy, welcome. If you're here just to look or to beg, get out. I'm trying to run a business. Oj. Show me your goods. To było bardzo niemiłe. What do you want here? Stary, nic nie chcę. Okej, okay? nic. Okej? Okay? Dobra. Pogadamy może z Kowalem, nie? Ewentualnie z Marcelo można. Jest jeszcze Toni. Błagam, kto jeszcze? Tu można wejść. I masakra wam powiem, tyle ludzi do pogadania. Hey, how are you? Hush. Don't make such a noise or we'll both get arrested. What's going on here? Hush, not so loud. The white robe back there is starting to notice. Hernandez realizes I'm watching the Don's old house. We're screwed. You're working for the Don. You've just realized. Yeah, I have orders from the Don. And when he gives orders, you obey. Thing is, I could use some help. Sounds like you're no fan of the Inquisition. Yeah, and that bastard Hernandez has settled over there by the entrance and made himself comfortable. Looks like he's happy to spend the rest of his life gardening, damn it. And I sit out here like an idiot. Rain or shine. What is it you need to do? There's an old family heirloom of the Dons in the house. A golden amulet. If the white robes get their hands on it, they'll take it to their stupid monastery. And the Don will kill me. And I mean kill me, wake me up, and kill me again. Tell me about the Don's old house. It's that big building over there. But the white robes are in there, and they never leave. If you want to break in, you'll have to do it at night. Some of them will be asleep then. Where is this amulet? The Don mentioned a secret room accessed by a hidden switch behind a picture. But how is anyone supposed to find the room in that huge house while the white robes are buzzing around? You want to steal from the white robes? Steal? They came storming into Harbour Town taking anything they want. The house and everything in it belong to Don Esteban. I'm just going to return what already belongs to him. Right. I'll get you the amulet. Okay, but be smart. Esteban will kill us both if Hernandez gets his hands on it. How are we going to get by the white robes? I'll think of something. All right. I'll wait here. Dobra, Hernandez, tak? No to jest tutaj na wejściu. And what are you doing creeping about round here? Let me guess. You're lost, right? I'm just passing by. Then I'd just keep on doing that if I were you. I don't know you. Make sure I don't need to get to know you. I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker prisoner. That's right. And he's staying here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. About this treasure seeker, what is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker, he's a treasure stealer. And he's gonna stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. Isn't there a way you can forget all this and let him go? Are you trying to bribe me? Until Carrasco tells me differently, no one is going in there. And Ulf isn't setting foot outside until I know what's happened to these three bowls he got his hands on. Have you had problems with the Don's men? Of course. They're just waiting for the chance to snatch the town back from the Order. Take a look at that guy skulking across the street. He goes by the name of Tony. He's in the sharpest tool in the box. 
He's been hanging around for days, thinks I haven't noticed. He's scoping the place out, waiting for a chance to break in. Someone needs to curb his curiosity, but I can't leave my post. I'll sort Tony out. That would be appreciated. He isn't a pretty sight to look at all day, although I would be interested to know what he's after. I've heard that Don left a few possessions in this house when he fled town. Oh yes, such as? Apparently he hid a golden amulet here. We searched this place from top to bottom and found nothing. A gold amulet is the kind of thing you'd notice. Where did you hear that, eh? That shifty bastard Tony. Don't listen to that lunatic. I think I can find the Don's amulet. Oh, really? Yes. And if Tony fails to get hold of it, he'll have to disappear from town. And you think the amulet has to be in this house? But we've searched it. But what if you missed it? You think your eyes are better than ours, huh? Well, go on then. Step inside. Let's put them to the test. Dobra, no to tylko żeby mi tutaj wojownicy zakonu nie przeszkadzali, nie? Hmm. Przecież tam jest ewidentnie przejście za tą szafą. A to było aż zbyt proste. U, dostałam mądrość plus 3. Przemiana w łodzika. Ochrona przed bronią kłutą. Aj, dobra. Dobra, otwarte. Nic szczególnego, tylko trochę złota. No i co, mamy amulet. No to chyba nie ma co się tytolić, nie? Wojownik zakonu. Szukam ewentualnie jakiejś misy złotej, ale... Wątpię. No dobra. Powiem tak. Ja bym ten dom cały ogołociła, nie? Tylko nie wiem, czy to jest mądre. Zbyt skomplikowany zamek nie jest mądry. No ale cóż, to też trudno. Jest Olf. Well, you're not a member of the Inquisition, and you don't look like a fighter. I'm not. I'm a treasure seeker. Ruins searched, tombs emptied, valuables recovered, pockets lined. When I'm not being held prisoner, that is. What did you do to get locked up? The Inquisition wanted me and my brothers to work for them. We are independent operators. Picking sides is bad for business. Then they got wind we dug up these three golden bowls. And they want them. They're obsessed with artifacts. They can lock me up for as long as they like, but I'm not telling them a thing about those bowls unless they pay me a decent price. How much do you want for these golden bowls? Want to join the queue, do you? Well, at least you're talking price. That's more than they are. Give me 200 gold and I'll tell you where I hid my deal. Hmm. Dobra. Here's the gold. Now tell me where you hid the bowl. I knew the Inquisition had been watching me, so I lost them. Hid the bowl in the harbor lighthouse. Threw it up into the wooden beams. It's going to be difficult getting it back without a telekinesis. Oh. Of course. That's your problem now. Dobra. Trochę zmarnowałam złoto, bo wiedziałam, że coś w tej latarni jest. Ale no trudno. You're a treasure seeker. Any good? You're talking about you and your brothers, the triplets, right? Our reputation precedes us. Perhaps you're just too famous for me to do business with. Three heads are better than one, and three sets of arms when it comes to shoveling. We know our craft, not like the amateurs that fill the ruins with now. 
We came a long way to end up on this island, and now we're stuck here. Who do you triplets work for? We're free agents. We work for whoever pays the most. Pay us, we'll deliver. Treasure seeking is just digging, isn't it? You think? There's skill to it. That's why we're paid, skill and danger. We've sailed the most dangerous seas and gone where fighters fear to tread. What kind of job are you looking for? We're not fussy. At least not while we're stuck here, we're not. If you have a job for us, then don't stay silent. Although, you'll have to help us get out of town first. I definitely can't help you if I'm locked up. You need me? You'll have to convince Hernandez to let me go. How do I convince Hernandez to let you go? Well, you know why they're holding me. They want the three bowls. So? Get those three bowls out of circulation. I'm suddenly less interested. Find them. Make them disappear. How can I take these bowls out of circulation? Well, if you can get your hands on them, you can sell them to someone who can get them out of town. What if the Inquisition get to them first? Then it's up to you to handle it. The bowls just need to vanish from town. Can you teach me anything? I can show you how to prospect for ore with a pickaxe. I thought you were a treasure seeker. Hacking into a hidden wall or prospecting for ore, it's all the same. Only ore is much less interesting than treasure. Show me how to prospect. No, pięknie. Show me how to prospect. First, you have to be able to tell where ore can be found. You can't just go swinging at any old rock. How do I recognize ore deposits? The stone glitters, and the structure of the rock is different. Often you can see ore bubbles. They hang on the rock like pimples. When you find a good rock, take the pick in both hands and swing straight. That's very important. The point has to hit the deposit square on, or the rock will splinter, then it's worthless. Don't expect to be as good as I am from the off. It takes practice. But put in the time and you can make decent coin from prospecting. I'll get you out of town. You sound like you take pride in your work. I like that. Well, if you're up for it, you'll have to deal with the guard at the entrance. I doubt I'll get out of here unless you can persuade Hernandez to free me. Shouldn't your brothers know what we're planning? Yes. Tell them to come to our meeting point. They'll know where I mean. No, dobra. Okay, I'll tell them to go there. Great. I bet they're drinking themselves into a stupor in the Gutter's Tavern or on the Harbor Key. W sumie szukamy jeszcze jednego, nie? Gościa tylko. No ta. Super, wytrych się zwrócił. This lock is too difficult. Kurde, przydałoby się lepsze no, otwieranie zamku. Um, przy piks, nie? Gościu jest głupi. Um, albo nie wiem co. Albo ja jestem jakaś głupia. Dobra, ten robi patrol. Ale szedł tylko na górę. A my sobie upieczmy mięso. Przyda się do ewentualnego leczenia. Dobra, to wystarczy. Oj, dobra. Mam nadzieję, że mogę to wszystko brać. No, dawaj, stary, wychodzimy. No i okej, okay, tutaj w sumie żeśmy byli. To 
możemy stąd już wybywać. Here. This seems to be the Don's amulet. Well, would you look at that? And the boys said they'd gone through everything. Right. I'll take it from here. Have a few gold coins for your trouble. And tell Tony his prize has been snatched from under his nose. Maybe he'll stop his skulking about. Dobra, to idziemy się go pozbyć standardową. I found Don Esteban's amulet. You did? Where is it? Hernandez has it. You what? What happened? How did he even know it was there? You realize I've got to tell a Don. You've dropped me into a world of shit. Przykro mi. Best you go before someone makes you disappear. Stary, przykro mi, naprawdę. Another new face. Welcome to the merchant district. Are you looking for work or trade? Do you have work? We need all the help we can get. Any help in particular? The outlaws here are staying undercover. But they're still pursuing their dirty business. So I've heard. I'm certain Weasel is still one of the Don's men, but he spends all day sitting on a bench. So? Weasel is no saint. He used to run a protection racket here before the Don left. He's not doing that if he's sitting on a bench. A spider sits in its web, but it's still got murder on its mind. He's planning something, but I need evidence to stop him. You're new here. If you could talk to him, gain his trust. See if you can get evidence of his misdeeds. I'll see what I can do. Good. Good. Dowód dla Marcello. No dobra. Jeszcze jest Alvaro. Jezus kochany, ludzie drodzy. Hey, the commandant wants to talk to you. Head for the guardhouse. Znowu chce ze mną rozmawiać komendant. A po cóż? No. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Don's men. Nothing gets past you, does it? So, what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum-sucking white robe bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. And now... Now... Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. Because you'll find and gut me if I fail. You know what you'd be getting into. Don Esteban hates people who try to cheat him. And so do I. I could work for you. This here is the fat cat's quarter. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white robe bastards are everywhere, and they see everything. So how does it work here? Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else for me. No, dobra. Co takiego? What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. No, dobra. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. What do I get if I bring you the packages? Money. It's always about money. Bring me what I want, and I'll show you how we separate rich merchants from their property. Is that all? We'd be prepared to trust you more as well. That guard, Marcelo, is determined to nail me. He mustn't get the packages. The pig botherer. What would happen if Marcelo got the packages? The stinking brute would hound me for all eternity. Everyone in the town knows we control the wheat trade. And with the packages as evidence, Marcelo would be on me like swamp fly. Not a pretty thought. That's why you have to find the packages and give them to me. How does the Bruegel wheat get into the town? You don't need to know that. What if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, 
They're complete. What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. Somebody's paying him. You follow Garth when he delivers the weed packages. And when he meets his partner, you grab both of them. You want me to do that alone? I'd gladly break their ratty bones with you, but the white robe pigs won't let me out of their sight. I'll follow Garth. Good. Garth works across from here in the alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. He's a nervous soul. Dobra, spokojnie, stary. Najpierw może pójdziemy do naszego tutaj przyjaciela. Weasel is trying to trace some Bruegel weed packages. Hmm. If we could get those packages, they'd be exactly the evidence I need. Dobra, czyli musimy tutaj iść dalej w to. Pójdziemy. Tylko, że zdobyłam zaklęcie telekinezy, więc dobrze by było, myślę, zdobyć kwestię tej misy, nie? Tylko pytanie, czy ja dosięgnę z tak dalekiej odległości? Ej, nie mam teleki... Już mi się wydawało, że dostałam telekinezę. No to na razie nic nie zrobimy w tym temacie. Słabo. Pewnie tam na górze jest gdzieś ta misa. Ciekawym jak on tam niby wsadził, nie? Zaraz, a ty nie miałeś telekinezy, gościu? Znaczy nie wiem czemu miałbyś mieć, ale... Miałeś, dawaj to. To dlatego mi się wydawało, że miałam telekinezę. Gdzie to cholerstwo? Gdzieś między belkami, tak? Mamy misę. Mamy. No i dobra. No to co, myślę, że będziemy tutaj też jeszcze te okolice, najpierw tej dzielnicy kupieckiej jeszcze kończyć. Zanim udam się do Pati. Bo szczerze mówiąc w tawernie też się dużo rzeczy rozwiąże. Ale tutaj trochę zaczęliśmy temat i może wypadałoby go tutaj zakończyć. Chociaż wiecie co, już tak na 100% pójdziemy po prostu do Pati i najwyżej zgarniemy więcej zadań, ale u Pati powinna być chyba ostatnia osoba, ostatni z braci, który no powinien mi powiedzieć co nieco, nie? Tak mi się wydaje. Dzięki temu powinnam się dowiedzieć, gdzie jest ostatnia misa. No i mamy też sprawę tych pancerzy dla Karasko, więc myślę, że, że tutaj poczynimy jakiś postęp. Moi drodzy, jeżeli dzisiejszy odcinek Wam się podobał, był dosyć chaotyczny, no ale wiadomo jak to jest z tymi zadaniami czasami w grach. Jeżeli Wam się podobało, zachęcam Was do łapki w górę, subskrypcji, komentarza. Ja lecę montować dla Was ten film, lecę sobie zrobić kawę, a później myślę, że przejdę się z Damianem gdzieś na spacer, bo jest w sumie fajna pogoda dzisiaj, jest ciepło. A wypadałoby się troszeczkę poruszać po obiedzie. No cóż, nie przedłużam, trzymajcie się i cześć!